Hello, this is Haka Devine, and I'm here with SCP-178, also known as the 3D Specs. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below. Item number, SCP-178, Object Class, Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-178 is to be stored in a Class 3 anomalous object container guarded by two, by no fewer than two armed personnel with Level 3 clearance with not undergoing testing. Items is to be removed from containment only with the written permission, permission of a personnel with Level 4 clearance or higher. Following incident in 178-14 Alpha, all tests are being monitored remotely and the presence of all personnel apart from test subjects in the testing area during experimentation is expressly prohibited. Description SCP-178 is a pair of white stereoscopic 3D glasses with a rectangular white cardboard frame and lenses of transparent blue and red left and right lenses respectively plastic. The item exhibit it's no unusual properties apart from a slight discoloration of the car cardboard consistent with age. When worn, the aware begins receiving by large bipedal entities in addition to its its ordinary surroundings. And these, these reportedly exhibit a docile and occasionally curious behavior. Reports include in these leaning over these older persons and working and observing them with interest, with one exception. Any attempt by the wearer or any other personnel, see Incident Report 178-14 Alpha, to directly interact with the entities results in the severe lacerations suddenly appearing on persons involved. The appearance of lacerations is rapid and continues until the moment the wearer expires. The pattern of lacerations is always consistent with being slashed with three parallel tapered sharp objects of length varying between 14.2 and 27.4 centimeters. The maximum thickness varying between 2.9 and 8.1 centimeters. Recording and measuring devices used during testing fail to detect any anomalies, including while lacerations were appearing on subjects. Subjects do not report having hearing any sounds emanating from the entities. Long term observation of subjects exposed to the item reveals no lasting effects. Stereoscopic images is viewed through the item of here three dimensional. Addendum one. Item was as recovered on a date in the in, sometime before two thousand in Blank, Tennessee by Agent Redacted. Operating as a deep cover agent in the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service who arrived in the town following reports of a blank year old child being found dead in her second floor bedroom, apparently as a result of an unusual mauling. Agent Redacted knows of blood saint serious of an image of a Ferris wheel adjacent to where the child was discovered. <sighs> And after some searching, found the item under the child's bed where it had apparently been thrown during the child's death throes. Agent Redacted then proceeded to call a recovery team to its location. Following the recovery team's arrival, Agent Redacted wore the, the item and looked at the image, reporting nothing unusual until he turned his head to his left, whereupon he knows an entity approximately an inch from his face leaning over his shoulder and looking at the stereoscopic image. In a, a briefing, Agent Redacted uh, and reported also noticing several other entities in the room observing him and the recovery team. Agent Redacted refrained from attempting to interact with the entities and the item was recovered without incident. Addendum 2. All experiments are to be logged in file 178E. Addendum 3. Personnel with level 4 clearance are urged to read incident reports 
178 8, 14 alpha. Reading incident report by 178 14 alpha is mandatory for all personnel with level 4 clearance or higher overseeing or approving experiments with the item. Warning, failure to comply with addendum number 3 is grounds for disciplinary measures. <sighs> That's a bit long. We can read that another time. So these are a pair of 3D specs that allow you that allows you to see entities that are not normally visible to the human eye, apparently. <sighs> well, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time.